Hi everybody, we're back for another video, this time on SharePoint Premium eSignature. How to set it up, how to use it. Here we go. First things being first, we start here at the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. And what we'll do is we'll go into setup. And what that'll do is that it gets us ready for our files and content. Uh, we're using a content AI with Microsoft Syntax. This is, of course, SharePoint Premium now. Uh, you will first need to set up an Azure billing subscription. Uh, we're not going to go through that here. You can go through other videos to find that out. Uh, but here in Manage Microsoft Syntax, you can go down into eSignature. And into eSignature, you're going to select the sites uh, that you can do this in. Uh, you can select sites or you can upload something or you can just use all sites. Remember that this is going to cost you $2 per request, so you do kind of want to be a little bit prescriptive about where you're putting this, all right? Now, if you are going to be sharing outside of your tenant, you do need to do one more thing. I need to run this command right here at set SP, uh, tenant, SPO tenant. I need to enable Azure AD B2B integration. This needs to be set to true or you will not be able to send things out to external users. This is a big gotcha. Make sure that you pay attention uh, to that one. All right. So once I have all this done and I have a site that's that has been configured to use eSignature, I can go in to uh, that actual site. So here is my site here. I've got my e-signature demo. We're gonna go in there and you can see here, I have a doc and then I have a, a PDF file. Once you've got all that configured, you go to your site. I'm gonna use our sales and marketing site here as the one that, we are, that we're working on. Uh, and I have a e-signature PDF here and, and it only works with uh, PDFs right now. Uh, if you do work with SparkHound, what you're going to get is you're going to get an SOW. And this is the PDF that we're going to work on. And at the bottom of our SOW, uh, we have a signature page. So we're going to add a signature to these uh, to these ones and we are going to send it out to people. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to click on this and this will open it up. And once you, once you open it up, you'll see here the Get Signatures button. So we'll go ahead and click on this, and this is going to add a couple of, of things to it. So we're going to add some recipients. First, I'm going to add uh, Matt M. Meyer, yahoo.com. Okay, so that is my uh, external account. Okay, that puts me as a recipient. And then I'm going to have Matt Meyer. That is going to be my internal recipient. Okay, so here we have, we have two recipients <clears throat> ready to go. So we're going to go next. And you can see I can have a signature spot, I can have an initial spot, I can have a date uh, to, to put in this. So what we're going to do is I'm only going to, we'll say uh, for the scope, I'm going to want my client to initial this. So I'm going to put initials here for them. Uh, and then we're going to go down and I want initials then maybe at our, our money. Okay, so we'll put that here uh, and I'll move that around a little bit, make that look better. Okay, great. Now I'm gonna to go to the signature spot. So I've got uh, your company here. So I'll put this person's signature. I'll try to align it as best I can right there. We're gonna put signature there and then I'm gonna put the date um, right about here. How about that? That looks good. And then for the red the red one or the one, the internal, this is gonna be for SparkHound. I'll set my signature right about there. That looks good. Uh, and then I'll have just the date. Okay, so what this will do is this will then generate a request for my signature. So I'll hit next, uh, and then I put a little optional message here, please sign, and it'll send out to my recipients. So I'll go ahead and hit send. What will happen here is it'll take a second, and then it'll send out emails to uh, these two people, and we'll pick it up when those emails show up. All right, as you can see here, we have uh, the request signatures were sent and the recipients uh, get an email, all right? So what we can do here right away is take a look and see what the email looks like. And so what that looks like is something uh, like this. And it says that I request your signature on this particular thing. It has the note in there as please sign. And it tells us who we're waiting on. Now, this is an important email. There isn't really a way to get back into this other than to uh, go through this email. 
uh, for the time being. They're, they're working on that, uh, but that's what it looks like. So I could click view request, or what I can do here is because I'm logged in as me, if I click view document, this is gonna go ahead and load the signature document. All right, so you can see here, I need to agree to this. So if I agree to all that, then I am I am in there as uh, the red Matt Meyer, so I, I can start. So I'm gonna go down here. It's gonna ask me, actually, this is the blue, uh, and I'm going to sign here, okay? So the blue is is somebody else. This is, this is the person I'm waiting on, and this is me here. So I can go ahead and sign this, and I can make this to be, um, F U M Meyer and we say done. All right. So it puts it, it puts it there. And then the date signed is going to be that. And that's, that's it. Right. So I can go next, next and I submit and it's going to go ahead and say, okay, you're, you're done. You're signed. And then it'll say, uh, when, when that is who else I'm, I'm waiting for here. So I'm waiting on the blue person. That's the, that's my external email account. So this will, this will just take a second. And we can take a look at that particular uh, email. So that email looks very similar. Again, this is my Yahoo. So if I go into view request here, I have to be a little bit careful because if I'm already logged in as me, it's gonna interpret that as me. So I am gonna copy this link address and I am going to go into a, uh, an incognito window. So here's my incognito, uh, my incognito page and the first thing you're going to do is you'll put in the email address that you receive this at so matt m meyer at yahoo all right so i'm going to go next here and the next thing this is going to do is it'll pull up something that looks like a sparkhound login and and this freaks out a lot of people and this is just you need to log into this particular uh, your your domain now one thing that is a got you is that your sharing your sharing settings for the site that you're using needs to be set so that this particular person that that by default the uh, link can be edited otherwise you won't be able to actually log in so I'll go ahead and put in my uh, my name here so Matt um, Meyer at Yahoo and this is actually connected into a live account that I have so it's going to ask me to sign in uh, and I'll use my authenticator here to sign in real quick and do, 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 do. all right so stay signed in sure why not uh, and then it'll go ahead and load the, uh, the, the page. And I run through the same thing as I did before. I'm going to go ahead and hit agree. All right, I can hit start. It's going to take me down to my initials. So I'm going to initial that. I'll put in my initials. And done. All right, and I'll go to the next one. And I'm going to initial there. Type my initials. Mm. Wrong button. Mm. There we go. Uh, done. And we'll finally go. And I'm going to sign just like I did before. So we're going to say this one is Matt. Meyer done and I'll put in my date and now I am completely done. So I click submit and this then will go ahead and tell everybody that I have completed the signature and that it is it is done. Now one thing that we do have to you have to note is that there are a couple of different libraries that are in play here and I'll show those here right now. So the first library you really have to know about is going to be the secret library where all of your uh, signature documents are going to go. Now, this is the document that actually gets uh, signed and is shared out and can be then accessed by the people who uh, th that are signing your document and the emails will continue. This will this will continue to be active for. Uh, as long as uh, you, you configure it for. This is the one where your, your pending document goes and then the, the final one gets, gets sent there as well. So this is, this is the actual document uh, that they work on to get signed. Where the document goes after everything is all complete is it does go back into your original uh, library. And this is very helpful because I can create my document in, in Word, and then I can print it out as a PDF, have that signed, and it all goes back in the same library. So remember that you do have it in two places, and it's going to be available to the other people um, that you're going to be, uh, th that are signing it for the period of time that uh, is, is selected. So remember that, that you are going to have multiple documents for, for a period of time. Okay, that is e-signature, very easy, very useful, and
We'll talk to you next time.